My name's Eleanor Dukes, and I'd like to talk to you today about my experience of university application. I'm a student here at Chipping Norton School, and uh, like many students in my year group, not just at this school, but across the country, I'm applying to university at, that, at the moment, and I'm in that process. Um, today, I want to talk to you specifically, be, specifically about my experience of applying to an Oxbridge university. For those of you who don't know, Oxbridge uh, denotes Oxford and Cambridge universities. Um, I would also like to address some of the stigmas and prejudices that can be associated with those universities. So my own university journey started in year 11 when I was 15 and I was doing my GCSEs. Uh, I knew I wanted to go to university because it meant that I could study something that I loved for a really extended period of time. Um, at first I thought I wanted to study history because I liked writing and I liked arguing and I liked looking at things from different historical contexts and different periods. But then when I did some research into different courses, um, I, looked at the, I looked at law and uh, I thought that n not only could I then write and argue, but I could also think about presentation and advocacy as part of that degree, which is something that I find really important because I love being able to fight for my beliefs. Uh, I'd also heard a lot about how fun the experience of university was, and I, I kind of thought of it as a bit of a, a rite of passage. One of the biggest things I was stuck on, however, um, was the idea of where to go to university, which university to apply for, should I apply to only certain ones, that kind of thing. I definitely had some prejudices over which universities I should apply to, uh, in particular these Oxbridge universities. In a nutshell, I thought that the only people who went to universities like Oxford or Cambridge were from an upper school, from an upper class private school background and were conventionally posh. Um, however, at the end of year 11, when I got my GCSE results, uh, my teachers asked me, Miss Avery asked me if I'd ever thought about applying to Oxford or Cambridge. Uh, I said no, <laughs> I hadn't. But, um, because I just didn't think that my background of a state school student would be one that fitted in with that ideal, the, the, the person that goes to Oxford. But um, Miss Savory and other teachers convinced me to kind of forget those ideas that I already had and do some research into the university itself and look at the ideas and the values that they held and see if what I thought actually rang true. Actually, when I did some research, I was kind of astounded. In fact, 56% of the students at Oxford University who come from the UK are state school students. In addition to that, 40% of the entire student body at Oxford University is from, are from foreign countries. This means that actually only a small proportion of the people at the university come from that private school background that I had envisaged. In fact, the university, the university is a colourful, vibrant mix of people from all different walks of life and different backgrounds, meaning that the experience of university, that that rite of passage that I thought was really important, the experience would actually be one of the most diverse I could have at a university like Oxford. People come from different countries, different socio-economic backgrounds, and different so situations. I was so surprised to find out these facts that I, um, it, I was completely changed about what I thought the University of Oxford was like. I was then told by a friend of mine that if I was now thinking about Oxford as a, a viable place to apply, then I should think about applying for the Oxford Unique programme. For those of you who don't know, Oxford Unique is a totally free outreach programme run by Oxford University that allows students from lower income or state school backgrounds to experience life at the university for a week. Um, so I applied to Unique and was lucky enough to be given a place on their law course for a whole week in July this summer. During the, during the week, I was able to experience law lectures and tutorials and um, other parts of the law course and with a group of fellow students who came from a range of backgrounds. The only thing we really, I felt that we all really absolutely had in common was that we had a passion for our subject and we were engaged and interested in law. To give you some examples of where people came from, um, there was Nora, who was originally from Turkey but had moved to East London um, when she was very small and was the first person in her whole family to think about going to university. Uh, then there was Keir, who was, a, um, who was the regional debating champion for her London borough and was the highest performing student at her state school in GCSEs. I met lots of students who I'm still friends with and I just had and we all had no idea about that this was how the University of Oxford this was what it was like that it was this kind of vibrant place where everyone did feel welcome as well as talks on law 
The week also gave us um, talks on the admissions process and in particular financial support, the aim of which was to convince us that your background shouldn't affect whether or not you apply to university, and in particular, it shouldn't affect which university you apply to. A university is happy to have you whatever background you come from, and they judge your application solely on the academic merit, solely on academic merit. I was so inspired by this idea that I'd learnt from Oxford Unique, um, which, and I'm, that's why I'm here today. I want to encourage students to apply to universities that they want to go to, regardless of whether they think they're the right background of person to go there, or rather the right type of person to go there. And if, if we look further, this doesn't just apply to university. So my chosen career will, fingers crossed, be in law. And um, when you talk to barristers and when you talk to solicitors, there are still some that feel that your background can be a barrier and can be an obstacle in getting far in the career, in the profession, as well as in talks of university. Whether this be true or not, I don't personally think it is. I know I will strive with everything I've got to get as far as possible in that career because I know I can make it. And my state school background will not affect that at all. And it will not mean I get held back. So the aim of my speech today is to get students, and in particular prospective students, to not disregard any university because of any prior prejudices or stigmas that you may think are attached to it. Instead, look at each university separately. I would definitely say go and visit universities, and if you can, do things like Oxford Unique or Sutton Trust programs that are run at different universities, and get a view of the university in the terms of what you think is important to you. Don't be influenced by prejudices, prejudices of something being part of the Russell Group or something being, being an Oxford University, because if you are interested in enough in a subject and you have the academic potential to study it, you can study it anywhere. Uh, to finish off my story, I applied for law with German at Oxford, Bristol, Nottingham, UCL and Liverpool and I'm waiting to hear back from four out of five of them, which is a really agonising process. <laughs> I made my choices for university without any prior stigmas or prejudices. I completely cleared my mind and I chose those universities because I wanted to go there. Just, I think I'll leave you with this. When you look at the word university, it comes from the old Latin word, Latin word universitate, which means a community of scholars and teachers. However, it's also linked to the word universal, and I think that is the aim of my speech today. The idea that a university is universal is most interesting to me, as it means that the university is for everyone. Anyone who wants to go to university, in particular an Oxbridge, a Russell Group, any university you want to go to, you can. Thank you.